Hi cutie, welcome back to my channel. Mwah! So today is July 4th and I'm going to go hang out with the family. I just wanted to chill today and just discuss different things like where am I at in my nail career journey, thoughts I had on customer service and um, my clients and how I plan to build my clients. So for starters, here is my nails. I said I have to hold myself accountable, making sure I I did my nails. So today I actually did a set. Look, let's see. It's not too bad. Not too bad. See? I did a set on myself today, and I started around one o'clock, and I finished around maybe four. And I was with breaks in between. I had to file down my old nails and soak them off, apply tips, add acrylic, shape, polish the works. And I did that within like five hours. So that is a plus to me. Because I'm slowly getting better with um, my acrylic application and understanding what works for me and what doesn't. So I was like, oh, I kind of got this. I kind of got this. And the funny thing about it, me doing my nails, one nail tech, he told me within like six months, I'll be like super good at it. And I think by super good, he meant picking up a bead, knowing where to place it, know how to do the cuticle. Like today was like the first time my cuticle application came out way smoother, you know? So... There were several things that I like changed in this process. For one, I changed my monomer. I had to um like I had to find different monomers. So I know in my other videos I explained how there's EMA, MMA, and Odalis. So the common monomer that's used is EMA monomer. And um there are different types. One is a normal, and then there's a slow setting EMA monomer. I don't know the chemistry or science behind it, but when you use it with um, acrylic, it slows down the drying time of your acrylic bead. So when I took slow setting monomer and added it to my normal monomer, when I picked up a bead and placed it on to my nail bed, I was able to better manipulate the shape of the nail, the smoothness of the acrylic, and the time in which it took me to allow it to dry. So just the, these three things alone had me like super excited because now I have a little technique, you know? so. When you're a nail tech, they tell you, you'll find what works best for you. And it's small things that work best for individual nail techs to make them great at their craft. So this new technique of adding slow setting monomer to my um, regular monomer allowed me to have a smooth acrylic application. What I mean by smooth, I didn't have any lumps I didn't have any bumps on this nail bed or any nail application. So it kind of encouraged me to practice a new nail set every week. So you see how I put these nails on? Like next week, Sunday, I'm going to take them off and put it on again. I'm not damaging my nail bed because my nails were already short from all the errors I had made in my first attempt to do nails. So knowing that's like part of learning, I'm kind of encouraged to pursue a better nail application with acrylic. So knowing that much, if I don't do it next week, I'll wait two weeks just to let the nail grow out so I could cut it and file it down. But that's one new technique I learned, right? 
So I'm trying to understand small techniques that'll work for me when becoming a better, better nail tech. Another thing I learned was when I use gel polish. So for me, one hiccup I ran into was when polishing, like the like polishing finished nails, the nail polish went under the UV lamp, they will bubble up. So I'll take out the nail and look and I'll see little tiny bubbles. And those bubbles, like, I know it don't seem much, like much, but when I'm in a nail salon, that doesn't happen. So I'm like, what am I doing incorrectly? You know? And it was a minor, small thing. I'm telling you, the small things truly, truly matter. So I was informed that when you polish nails, right? Gel nails specifically, because that's the going to do UV lamp. Don't shake up the bottle. So me, I was shaking up the bottle trying to get the product out so I could get it on here, on the on the nail. I was recommended, it was recommended to me to roll the bottle. So instead of, I'm trying to find something I can show. I was shaking that bottle. Rather than shaking it, it was told to me to roll it. Like roll it between my hand to get the polish onto the brush applicator. And I tried that. No bubbles in the nails. So experienced, way more experienced nail techs who have been doing nails for years, they have their little techniques and little secrets as to how they maybe do nails quickly in a fast fashion or maybe do nails nice and neat when doing a polish application or any type of technique that make them special and different than the rest. I'm still in the process of figuring out where I stand with it. It's still holding my interest and it's making me even more excited as I learn smaller techniques. Of course, I'm asking more experienced nail techs who don't mind sharing, who don't mind supporting beginners. I'm asking like a thousand questions on different forums and different social groups and I'm really getting good answers and good responses. So to all the experienced nail techs out there who don't mind helping people like myself, y'all are true heroes and y'all like, thank you. What's that name? You're the MVP. That You're the MVP. <laughs> and I appreciate it because um, you don't have to take your time to tell people how this work or how that work. I think that's the beauty of being a nail tech once you've learned a lot about it, sharing your experience with newer people such as myself, because I've, I've read different forums where people, they start doing nails and then right into it, they take a break. Like they say, oh, this isn't for me. And I don't want to be that type of person. I don't want to just take a break. I want to keep going. So yeah. So that's my little spiel. I'm on it and my nails look good. It's so pretty. Look at how pretty it is. My shaping is getting better too. This is so like just the bomb. So okay, I'm gonna go outside now. We're gonna make it vlog style. See you soon. So we are en route to our destination. So in New York City, the party don't start until about eight at night. And I usually stay in the house. But it's July 4th. I'm celebrating. All right? <laughs> Damn one. It's like, can I be great? And I'm going to pause this because I got to look at all angles when I drive. So I'll be back. Hi, y'all. Here's how we take you New York City on July 4th. You ready? was when I spent money regularly with a technician and they can't do what I need them to do. So you're not going to tell me, oh, I put somebody. The first time, okay, everything is a compromise. Let's go dance. Everything after that, you're getting cursed out. Take care of your loyal customers because your loyal customers will always take care of you and we will always bring you customers. So don't